It's umsum time. Can our body produce alcohol? Nah, my body produces sweet, soothing music. Stop it, umsum. It is possible due to a rare medical condition called autobrewery syndrome or gut fermentation syndrome. In this syndrome, a yeast which is present in our stomach and the initial part of our small intestine, as in in our upper gastrointestinal tract, mm. ferments foods containing carbohydrates into alcohol. Normally, our liver can detoxify the small amount of alcohol which is produced as a byproduct of yeast fermentation. But in the above case, way too oh. much alcohol is produced. Now, when a person suffering from this syndrome is compared to a drunken person, he exhibits similar breath, smell, drowsiness, as well as gait changes. But as compared to a drunken person, this person oh. can be treated with antifungal medications. <laughs> he may also need to make some dietary changes, as in reduce intake of simple sugars, refined carbohydrates, etc. Hmm. Why does smoking cause dark lips? Because cigarettes contain black lipsticks. No. Our skin contains melanocytes, oh. which produce a pigment called melanin. Melanin gives our skin its color and also absorbs the sun's ultraviolet radiation, thus protecting us from skin-related diseases. Hmm. Now, when we smoke, we inhale and exhale harmful chemicals like nicotine and benzopyrenes, especially from our mouth. So, experts believe that perhaps as a protective mechanism, our melanocytes produce more melanin in our lips, gums, etc. to protect us from the harmful effects of these chemicals. This leads to hyperpigmentation, thus causing our lips to turn into a darker shade. Hmm. Also, while smoking, as we repeatedly purse or pucker our lips to inhale the smoke, it eventually creates wrinkles on our lips. These wrinkles accompanied by dark lips are referred to as smoker's lips. Hmm. What happens to our lungs when we smoke? They turn colorful. No. <laughs> Whenever we smoke cigarettes, we inhale a mix of about 4,000 harmful chemicals. These chemicals cause swelling of bronchial tubes present in our lungs thus resulting in excess production of mucus. Hmm. Also, they damage hair-like projections called cilia whose function is to push out the excess mucus. As a result, the bronchial tubes get clogged. This leads to persistent <laughs> coughing as our body attempts to clear the mucus, thus eventually causing chronic bronchitis. Hmm. Secondly, these chemicals also damage tiny air sacs called alveoli present in our lungs. This reduces the amount of oxygen entering our blood, thus causing a condition called emphysema. Hmm. Note that chronic bronchitis and emphysema are collectively called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. COPD is irreversible and incurable. Ooh. Lastly, some of these chemicals can also damage the DNA present in the cells of bronchial tubes and alveoli, thus leading to lung cancer. Why do people smoke? Because they love coughing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Teens or young adults start smoking primarily because it feels glamorous and exciting. Ray! Watching friends as ah. well as movie actors influences them as well. Cigarettes contain tobacco which contain a highly addictive chemical called nicotine. When taken in, nicotine enters the bloodstream and quickly travels to the brain, releasing feel-good oh. chemicals and removing unpleasant Shh. feelings. This helps adult smokers to cope with stress and stay focused. Shortly after completing the cigarette, uh -huh. a smoker starts feeling irritated and anxious. He starts feeling a mild nicotine withdrawal. <laughs> On smoking the next cigarette, nicotine reaches the brain in less than 10 seconds, instantly giving a pleasant feeling and sense of calmness. This makes it very difficult to stop as the person starts becoming emotionally and mentally dependent on nicotine. This leads to many people becoming chain smokers, huh? needing multiple oh. cigarettes a day. Hmm. Why smoking makes people look old? So that we look more experienced and intelligent? <laughs> nah. Smoking makes people look old because things like cigarettes contain nicotine. 
Nicotine is a vasoconstrictor, which means it narrows our blood vessels, restricting the blood supply. When the blood supply is restricted, our cells don't get the required oxygen and nutrients. As a result, our skin becomes dry and discolored. In addition to this, the collagen and elastin fibers, which keep our skin firm and elastic, begin to break down much faster, leading to saggy and wrinkled skin. Also, when we smoke, we purse our lips and squint our eyes. Regularly repeating these actions may also cause wrinkles in our lips and around our eyes. In this way, smoking makes our skin dry, saggy, and wrinkled, thus making us look old. Hmm.